It's such an honor to be here at the Open Square Summit among so many distinguished activists, practitioners, and researchers. We were truly delighted to have been invited by our dear partners and friends at Futures Without Violence and Open Square to contribute to this inspiring event. It's a very special week as today's summit falls between two evenings of powerful performances at the George Washington University. I hope many of you had the opportunity to, last night to see the performance of Seven, a play that transcends national borders to confront abuse and subjugation of women in their societies. We are privileged today to have with us Annabella de Leon, an activist from Guatemala, whose story was one of the original Seven. If you missed yesterday's performance, we hope you will join us tonight at this, after the summit reception at the University Betts Auditorium for performance of DC7, where um, Leslie Jacobson, our, our friend and colleague, will be directing and adapting the powerful concept of seven women's stories with, to tell the story of seven women from Washington, DC activists. Actually, it's 10 women, isn't it? But does, we're seven organizations. At the Global Women's Institute, our work focuses primarily on researching the drivers of violence against women and girls in different settings, as well as trying to understand what kinds of interventions are most effective in both preventing and responding to violence. Events like this one, which bring together researchers, policymakers, and activists, are great opportunities to turn research into practical solutions. Today we look forward to learning from one another and strengthening our collective voice to end violence against women and girls. As highlighted in a recently published resource guide on violence against women and girls that we developed together with the World Bank and the Inter-American Development Bank, we talked about the education sector as being in a unique position to work with communities at multiple levels to use education to address violence and gender inequities. Not only can schools use education to shape positive norms and behaviors, they can also empower girls to reach their full potential while keeping them safe from violence. Schools can play a critical role in fostering a supportive environment for girls and boys within their communities, one which allows children to have choices and ownership over their futures. It's also important to recognize that in order for schools to be sites of intellectual and social empowerment, they themselves must be free from violence. Fortunately, evidence is beginning to emerge about what works in school settings to reduce violence. Today, we will hear more about innovating program, innovative programs that have been rigorously evaluated, such as ICRW's Gender Equity Movement in Schools, the GEMS program, and the Good School Toolkit developed by Raising Voices, among others. These effective programs are examples of interventions that embody several key elements. First, they include several levels of stakeholders, such as students, parents, and surrounding communities. They incorporate gender-sensitive activities and messaging, and they utilize multiple components over a prolonged period of time to attain their intended outcomes. These interventions require a much greater and sustained investment by the international community, particularly as we enter into the post-2015 global development agenda. Malala Yousafzai, a courageous champion for girls' education, has been strongly advocating to ensure that all countries achieve the gender equality and education goals, including girls' access to quality primary and secondary education. We had the great privilege to partner with the Malala Fund in developing a high school and college curriculum to support her message of education for girls as a basic human right. And following this, we'll be sharing a very brief video clip describing this collaboration. Again, thank you so much for joining us today. We look forward to a productive dialogue throughout the day, and we hope to see you tonight at the performance of DC7.